What is up, obscure mic people? Bark coming at you yet again with a mic in a box. A mic in a white box, babe. It's just a white box. Not going to be fun to hold that up for the old intro where it's like the music and stuff. So I guess I'll just have to do this. D Debra DM58. It's a SM58 clone, if you couldn't tell. Not much comes with it. You got a clip. Mic, clip, mic, clip. And documentation with what is, I'm sure, to be completely incorrect specs. But hey, it's fine. $9.50, folks. Sound like the slap chop guy. $9.50 and you're going to love my nuts that bolt my boom arm together and stuff. The nuts and bolts. You're going to love them. Slap, 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 slap. I'm on a roll today. Let's compare. Let's compare a little bit. SM58, clearly a little heavier. Not a lot heavier. This is actually built pretty well. Identical in shape and size. That's what she said. SM58 is just a really good mic. But something cool about this microphone is the D Debra does have a transformer. More than meets the eye. Microphonicons move out. Anyways, sorry, having way too much fun because not a lot of shit I can do with just a handheld dynamic microphone, no switches, no bells, no whistles, nothing like that. Just an XLR port, a big old ball, and no windscreen. So if you do hock to spit on that thing, you're not <laughs> you're not gonna have any protection. That girl has blown up, dude. I'm sorry if you're sick of hearing that phrase, all of that. I can't help it. I'm sick of it too, but I also still giggle. Let's wire this up. Okay, so now we've got the D Debra DM58 wired up. And I am, uh, I am surprised because honestly, not very many SM58 clones really live up to the SM58. They don't typically come close, but I'm going to switch over to the SM58 right now so you can hear what both of these microphones sound like. And right now you're hearing the SM58, which is a little darker overall, like a little little more wooly on the bottom end, which I've never really said that about this mic, but these two are very close. And this is only wooly in comparison to this, which is the DM58, which is not a far cry from the SM58. It's not like exact. Wow. I am somewhat impressed right now for real. Because this was $9.50 and this microphone is like $98.50. Actually, it's like 100 bucks. Basically 100 bucks. But again, I'm going to get off this and get back on the Debra. Seriously, it is not different enough for me to care about the other 90 bucks. That is kind of impressive. Again, not saying they're the same. I know that the build quality is going to be different. But for $9.50, link in the description, but... They were sold out when I looked today. Every time I buy a mic, especially one that is decent, it sells out. Wow. Okay, let's do some tests. Handling noise first. Do want to let you know I do have an air conditioner on in the background. Air conditioner is on. Let's do plosives. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. It's not that bad. Proximity effect now. When you get right on top of the D Debra DM58, this is what that sounds like. The D Debra DM58, this is what that sounds like. I'm, I'm, I, I swear to God, I'm shocked right now. I, I really am. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like it's not perfect, and it's not exactly the same, but it's not a far cry. Off-axis rejection. Let's go. Talking into the front of the microphone. Now I'm going to go 90 degrees off-axis. Now, off axis is pretty decent. 180 degrees off axis, 90 degrees off axis, and then back around slowly to the front of the microphone. I could use this. Seriously, I could use this microphone on the daily. No, this is maybe the best $9.50 mic I have purchased. Maybe. Like, I'm thoroughly impressed right now. I know that it's just a run of the mill capsule, but maybe the fact that it's got a transformer in it. 
Maybe that's the difference. I, I'm, I'm shocked right now. Back on the SM58. Yeah, it's a little darker. It's a little darker. But my God, this is not far behind. It's not. $9.50, folks. D Deborah DM58. I will try to find links to this microphone at other places and post it. I'm seriously like, this is so usable. It is so usable for less than 10 bucks. I paid $9.50. Holy shit. Nice. I got I to gotta grab a few more ripoffs. I, I have to. I just, hold on. All right, I've got another SM58 ripoff. I think this one was 15 or 20. Just want to see what the sound difference is. Here we go. And now I'm talking into that, and this is what it sounds like. That's not terrible. Let's go over here. Let's do this again. This is the SM58. This is the imposter. This is the SM58. And this is the imposter. What is what is happening? Are my headphones broken? Is that what's going on? Is that are my turn my headphones up? I guess I'll have to review this one really soon. This one weighs a lot less than the D Debra. This is quality. This is actually quality, period. This is really nice. It's heavy. This not so much. Again, I'm just confused. This sounds better than that. I like the top end here. So, but but this was like this is like if you put these two and met in the middle, you get the 58 is what I'm feeling right now. I, I don't know. I just don't know. D Debra DM58 on the BB SAR, giving it a nine. Like it's great. Seriously great for nine dollars and fifty cents. Granted, like the handling noise wasn't the best. And the top end is just a tiny bit brighter than what I'm used to. Doesn't mean it's bad. I think it sounds pretty good. It's great. I can't call it perfection because it's hard to find now and the handling noise. And but man, it's close. I mean, that's perfection would mean it sounds perfect too. It doesn't sound perfect, but it sounds good. Really good. Nine dollars and fifty cents makes it great. Obscure mics, banger. We found an obscure champ. Like it's another champ. It's another obscure award winner. Peace out.